Get cash for your boat. Get skin for your boat. Vote your winner. You vote, we pay. Guaranteed. CS Money Eco Spray. Vote now. Get up to $5,000 monthly with Bitcoin mining. Download Go Mining and buy a virtual miner. Watch daily profits accumulate effortlessly. And enjoy flexible withdrawals processed in under 24 hours. Go Mining. Download and start mining now. Джейм, Фейн, Норберт, Ли.
We are back once again, everybody, with Bet Boom Dacha Dubai 2023. My name is Jasmine. You can go ahead and call me Veracity, though. And I'm joined Hi. alongside this incredibly dapper fellow known as a stunner or trace. Dapper. I think that's a good thing, dapper. right? Yeah. Uh, you like that? It's like a Zoomer term, or where would you put that one exactly? Brilliant. Um, I've tried to compliment <laughs> you, and I've no, just thank been you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I do appreciate that very much, Jasmine. We are getting to the, the nitty gritty here. We are finding ourselves in the playoffs, looking down the barrel of a semifinal, which should be going on here sooner rather than later if i had to guess uh, absolutely and of course the winner of which will progress on through to our grand finals which will be a best of five you found a best of fives no actually i'm really not but i understand like in the context of like you played through the tournament now we get to the grand final we might as well make it a best of five get a couple maps out of there um hey jazz let's get them on the stage let's do the damn thing let's do it let's finally do it go ahead let's please give a very warm welcome to none other than virtus pro Boys, 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 I hope you are just as excited as I am for this matchup. Norbert, come on over here. Come and join me, homie. Oh, you're, you're looking pretty happy today, man. How are the vibes feeling in the team? Uh, we're happy as always. Happy as always, I like that. Now, my question for you is, uh, did you manage to catch the Bet Boom matchup eliminating Cloud9? What did you make of that? Uh, actually, it was a bit su uh, surprised for me. Uh, we didn't expect it, would, it was to zero. It, it would probably to one, but it's fine. And uh, we're ready to play against Bet Boom. Did you think that Bet Boom would win versus Cloud9, or did you guys make all your prep for C9? Uh, no, we just uh, was watching the game without any dubs. Okay, well, best of luck to you. Do you feel confident in the fact that you can take down Bet Boom after seeing their performance? Uh, I don't like to say that uh, we could win them. We will see. Let everything that happens on the server do the talking, right? Well, best of luck to you. Feel free to go and join your team. I like that. Not wanting to jinx it or anything. I think it was this sort of like menacing smile. Like he knows he's going into <laughs> game day. He just kind of struts up here and he's like, he knows it's about time to get into the server for VP. So yeah, you heard him right there. He said it. Surprise win over Cloud9 yesterday. In fact, we're going to bring out the people that beat Cloud9 yesterday. Took them out of this tournament. It's going to be Team Bet Boom. Uh, that's a 50-50 question. Depends what day of the week. Yeah, exactly. Hey, so this day happens to be a Saturday. Happens to be a semi-final day. Yesterday you did what no one thought BetBoom could do in eliminating Cloud9. Now that everything's calmed down, how do you guys get back up to that level? I mean, we just have to keep on playing our game like we did yesterday. Like, the way we communicated yesterday in, uh, in the game against Game of Legion was fine. And I hope we just uh, keep calm enough to bring it to the next match. And uh, I hope that we could give a competitive game once again. That, that's all I want. So who's going to be doing the most yelling from your side? Because I do see Nafany getting really in there, right? But then you get in trouble for it. So I don't, like, what's going on there? I don't know. Where everyone, everyone's yelling, so nobody, nobody cares. E everyone's yelling. No one knows what they're yelling, but they're yelling. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. Let's get in the game. You going to beat him today? Uh, I hope so. All right, we'll leave it at that. Hey, good luck to you, Chiron. That's Bet Boom taking on VP in a semi-final bout. Let's get it on. Get it on. Get it on. We shall, my friends. Scrawny and Launders, welcome back, everybody. We got Chiron. Got that killer instinct in him. Chiron, he's just, he's ready to frag. Yeah, great English, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. English, Russian, and German. We, we're going to have, depending on, like, who, who wins, we get pick players for interviews after. Yes, sir. I think we said Nafni because yesterday Nafni gave a great he interview. He gave the heat. He but gave the cool heat. cool to talk to Chiron as well. Yeah. Either or. Sign me up. Kill a Chiron. Yesterday's results, we had the Bet Boom upset. Cloud9 going down 0-2. Oof, looking like a chump. Uh, that was, of course, fueled by Danitz and by Zorte. Two big performances that net them this year playoffs position. Team Spirit, well, Furia got donked, HLTV said. They did, yes. And honestly, they did. 1.7 something rating across the series. Total rock star performance. Just another indication that Donk is something special. One well, for the future. We always get hyped up on players, but he's been doing this for months and months and months mm. and then topping it off with a land. Woo. So hasn't got the chance to play many lands, but when he has a few chances, has been fantastic. 
no reasons to doubt Donk so far. Just really great. Even if he went out in this tournament at this point, I mean, what can you say? He has been the reason that Spirit win. Yeah, he has been. And maybe he will be again, as they will be playing later this evening in a game versus the unexpected top of Group A, MIBR. Yeah. MIBR taking that Yongshiping run and improving on it. There they fell third, fourth. Here they have managed to go third, fourth again at a minimum. They're team kind Spirit of, tonight. M MIBR is sort of like a bet boom with the form with the players that have joined the team, all coming from different rosters. Ooh, and like, that's a good take. You know, like drop coming yeah. in from Nigeria. The getting Brazilian to, bet boom. Getting a bit more space because the level of the stars have gone down. So, mm. you know, new ones can emerge and new ones can take different roles and have more of a chance to show what they can do frag-wise. Whereas, like, when Drop was on Furia, he was just the bottom. You know what I mean? He was just yeah. the anchor. He was just, like, doing all the heavy work. That's the, not so fun. The last drop in the barrel. Utility. Something like Utility that. boy. You know what I mean? So, now he's uh, now he's fragging, more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Hey, sometimes you just need to change the scenery. True. And then we've got the B Ara and Zen. Highest Ara rated. Ara Zen. Guess who the two highest rated players are at the event right now? B Ara and Zen is one. And second, Donk. not even. Oh, it is actually. I know this one. It's Norbert. It's Norbert. It's Norbert. Our baby. boy Norby. What a legend. He is back in it and looking to win it. Okay, we've got the bet boom odds for today. That's going to be VP, your favorite in this opening matchup. I think those odds are about right. Yeah, yeah. It's. I actually agree. I, think, I like all the odds today. Yeah, I think that like, um, you know, Virtus Pro. It's not like the. This is like Vitality or something. Mm -hmm. but Virtus Pro, right now, if they played against Vitality, I would say, oh, who knows? You know, Virtus Pro are always a threat, and these guys actually don't have a head to head against each other. Whereas, like, when Virtus Pro played against Spirit, they played almost 12, 12 series, I think. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. Went right down the yeah, middle yeah. with the series. So, this game, I think it's quite scary for Bet Boom, who have to learn a lot about them. They do have Chiron, at least, to give them a little bit of the playbook, a little yeah. bit of the philosophy. True. But I don't think. You know, we've had Yakinder try to IGL off of James' style work. of everything he learned, and it's just too hard. It didn't work. Can't replicate this, man. It's almost like when you leave James' cult, he extracts all the knowledge you thought you were taking with you. Some yeah. people leave with the playbook. <laughs> right. James just siphon it, siphons it all back in him. So he goes, okay, guys, everything we taught Chiron is all a lie. Yeah. Now let's start playing real CS. But we got to change everything. <laughs> that guy thinks he's leaving with the secrets. Not going to happen. VP favorites to win this matchup. The big brain of the operation is also the opera in Jame. And then we get this eclectic collection of riflers where any single one of them can be having the big day. But so far, it's been the fourth man that you wouldn't expect outside of the last three months in Norbert. Yeah. Everyone you see, like, Fame was a star coming out of FPL. Flit was a star player. M Mir was one of the guys floating around in Tier 2. It was like, when he's going to get a chance to play Tier 1 as a star. And Norbert is supposed to be the bottom fragger. Norbert is the best rifler on the team right now. <laughs> Norbert is owning this event. <laughs> Norbert is reliable for getting two kills every round. He's playing his anchor spots so well. I just want to say, like, he has learned so much about how to play his anchor spots yep. that, like, I, I, I feel like it's Caserato sometimes, I swear to God, <laughs> when he's holding an angle. I'm like... Old Norbert would have a flash out and die. Sure. This Norbert's getting two kills minimum and a crazy third, you know? Mm. So he's really, he's really changed it up. He's anchoring spots very well, which is just like an improvement based on his old play style. And I find that sometimes he's even getting into like these active, more aggressive solo plays. Like for example, the bottom of B ramp on Ancient is a prime example of when like Norbert's just taking space. Oh yeah. And I like this, I like an active Norbert. Of course, talk about activity, mm. this team, has also been playing to win. That boom have been doing a great job. When they played against Cloud9 yesterday, they exposed Cloud9, you know, with being being the team that wasn't scared of them, being a team that could be ultra aggressive and stay on the same page. They made less mistakes in map two when they both made mistakes in map one. Nothing what you would have expected coming into that series. And no one else to blame but Cloud9. Sure. That boom played the game they were supposed to. Agreed. And, you know, off of the back of a Danitz performance. Oh, Danitz giving Danitz's me uh, big moments were, like, match-defining. He's giving me some die Antwerp vibes in this photo. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. He's got right? that fringe, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, Danitz to me is, like, again, he's just, like, the most unknown entity of this roster. We've seen good things from him between Sydney and, and now. And, and yesterday's matchup was very important for Bet Boom to... Uh, you know, again, turn that page forward to continue on this upwards trajectory. It's really cool that we were able to tap into him out of nowhere to post big frags. Seriously, fantastic plays. And oh my God, what's even happened just now? Mm. Seven points, baby. Damn, how are you so far in the lead? I, I know things that I don't even understand. 
Why don't? Okay, from now on, you're doing the predictions for both of us. <laughs> we, we've been doing it the wrong way this whole time. <laughs> Just tell me you picked Virtus Pro today. I did. And tell me you picked Spirit today. Of course. Then we're all going to be mm. even tonight. All right, all right. Those are the winners. Well, Stun and Henry G didn't move based on yesterday's results. I told you they were going to grief at some point. Yeah, and me, I caught up to them. So that's something. Dinko's not even on the scoreboard anymore. <laughs> Only room for five. Only room for Sorry, five. Sorry, Donko. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's Dinko as long as it's the bottom. He's Donko if he gets to the top. <laughs> yeah, true. All right, we got our veto coming through for the first series of the day. Nuke's gone for Bet Boom, which was something that they would have liked. Give to me have Ancient. Seen, of course, overpass perfect sense here. This is uh, actually, that's going to be a heater of a first map. Come on, Ancient Decider. Ancient then, Decider for me would be the best way to finish this series. No. Bet Boom Ancient don't want Decider, it, huh? Yeah, it's too many games, too many reps. And wow, Vertigo. this comes into Vertigo, which is a fantastic map for Bet for Virtus Pro. Yeah. And Bet Boom's the one that took it there after we saw Bet Boom upset versus Cloud9 yeah. on Ancient yesterday. They could be trying to, like, intercept the. Maybe hmm. they just felt like there was too many glaring issues that they didn't want to and expected Virtus Pro to want to take them there. This is a good veto, I think. Decent for Bet Boom. I think it's rough for them that they don't get nuke. That's the big one, right? In this sure. specific matchup. Yep. Okay. That's like the that's the handicap, I would say, for like, okay, that should be the map they would pick. Uh, but they still they get Mirage as their map pick, which isn't guaranteed, but at least Virtus Pro are not good at it. So it's a chance that Virtus Pro could have read that uh, Mirage maybe was coming, but it seems sort of unlikely. Because they both have quite low win rates on it. One two, wait, no. 2-1, wait, Virtus Pro winning 2-1. Yes, the, yeah, okay, that's yeah, your right. prediction. Right. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay, um, Bet Boom, Stunna has Bet Boom. He's been impressed. Okay, he's, he's buying in. He's drank the Kool-Aid. Well, we all said Cloud9 2-0 and then obviously got it all wrong. So you kind of need someone to It's funny, that. the most confident Juju. prediction of the entire event, the only time all of us predicted the exact same thing, was a blowout in the wrong direction. It was a blowout in the wrong direction. We could not have been more wrong collectively as a group yesterday. Like clockwork. We couldn't have been more wrong. Today, we've spread out our decisions. Bet Boom on Mirage. They're going to need that one. And again, I would have... Oh, man, I really wish... I just think Ancient maybe would have delivered a better quality match, me personally. I would have... I, I really liked what we saw out of Danitz yesterday. I... I mm. I wanted to see if Norbert was going to be able to smash him outside of the B site. You know, we've seen VP play some Ancient this event. We saw Betboom play some Ancient. I thought maybe they would just kind of shake hands and agree to meet there. But we'll get Overpass, which should be a fantastic for both uh, on the first okay. map. Okay, so you think we're starting with something strong? We started with something strong. Betboom do need it, probably, because, like, Mirage, just nothing is promised. They don't have a good map pick in right. this series. Yeah. They don't have a good map pick. So True. that's not promised, but at least they get Overpass, which is a happy place for both of them. Uh, Virtus Pro could actually vote it and tried something different and then let them pick overpass, but maybe they just wanted to make sure they, they have a guaranteed first map because mm. Virtus Pro have an overall two good maps in the series. So this one should be a heater. Well. <laughs> that was frame perfect. Thank you. I've been waiting. Third time's the charm. Damn. A little bit of overpass. How to start the day? Norbert's going to try to get redemption on Monster this time because he played insane versus Astralis. That right. He had a really weak day too, but he still won. They still won the map, but he didn't carry like he was before. You know, I talked about Zorte's P90 a lot before the event started. Right, right. Haven't seen him buy one. Yeah, true. True. He's giving it up. He's giving it up. There's a free bet of $10 on first registration using code DOTCHA. DOTCHA, gotcha. At that boom. 1.42 to 2.90. VP favorites to take it to the grand finals. Grand finals. Which, based on you know Valve points coming into the start of the year, they they saw Virtus Pro coming. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. And uh, they have had quietly a good year, even though they haven't been represented at some of the uh, big uh, event circuits. Yeah. So it's great to see them at a land. Cleaning up a lot of the online ones, doing some deep runs. And I feel like, you know, VP, they just, they kind of operate in the shadows yes, until do. the major cycle rolls around. And then it's time to get into the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. So. Right now, we've got a lot of presence inside of Connector coming out from Bet Boom, looking to be in response to a dedicated monster hit, which is indeed exactly what's happening. 
Jim always looks like he's almost looking directly at his keyboard when he plays. Oh, you got to make sure you don't press the wrong buttons. <laughs> it's important. Yep. Dan, it's tucked back on graffiti. Smoke on short side, so they decide they're going to go back around onto the monster. Mir has taken graffiti control. Jame, oh, he's elusive. He'll finish off his frag, but Siren has managed to push beyond Monster. And so Jame kind of letting this site go a little bit. Excuse me, it was Chiron who was able to survive that push. Fame had to evacuate off site, so we've got two on short. And that dink could mean big things as Chiron hits the deck. The Diffuser's trying to stick it. James slides out. Oh, Sorte, time. he hits both. He gets on it. Oh, he doesn't have time for the yeah, defuse. Yeah, he's got to run from it. Oh, they didn't kill James fast enough. And even though they killed two players in a very strong post plant position, that was close. They didn't have a kit, right? They did not have a Tough. kit. So three frags for Zorte, but the round win for VP. Overall, risking it on a retake is its a decision. You know, I love the fact that we had the connector stack because that to me felt like a bet boom read of the pistol. Mm. But then James sits so far back on Monster beyond the barrel yeah. that it's like he knew they he would knew read them, short. so he was the addition to the read. Yeah. James always a step ahead, That's and his pistol proves it. He wasn't worried about the flank, even though they had no one A. So mm -hmm. they definitely did have that was maybe a demo. Plays on plays. Demo post plant right there. Racks on racks. And we saw that uh racks on racks. Teeth almost fell out. They better not, they're new. Zorte. <laughs> Brand new choppers. You got that Nova, huh? In the force buy because of his three kills. And we saw Bat Boom Eco two, two times in one map versus Cloud9. Yep. Yep. They're dangerous in these. I love this kind of round, uh, this kind of strat for an Eco. Do we still call this the Furia Walk? Yeah, the Furia Walk, absolutely. Kay. They made it. Zorte. Mm, doesn't even get a shell off of that shotgun. Chiron behind dice. Teammates scrambling up. Uh, mm, uh, ooh, missed shots. Uh, Chiron was a force as well on Ancient yeah, his side. Headshots were rapid. Yeah. But at least his damage means something with that frag grenade killing one off of the bomb site. Smoke on bank. So the best part about the walk up is you stay with perfect spacing the whole time. You get as close as you as close as contact before taking a shot. You are ready to explode at any time. You don't alarm any rotations, and you use no utility. Mm. You save it all for the post plant. I'm sold. <laughs> oh. oh, hello. Oh, that's, that's nice that's headshot. A nasty angle, yeah. That would be everybody else running for the oh, hills. That butterfly, dude. So uh, is it phase two. Mm, or yeah, no. phase two. Yeah, man, damn it. Yeah, it's very nice. It's nice, man. Napney's got a in phase three Gamma Doppler as well. It's mm. a little sick, pretty sick. Get cash for your vote. Choose the best e cosplay at CS Money's Budget Cosplay Contest. Get real money. Click on e cosplay banner into the stream to learn more. I do love learning. I love learning. <laughs> learning whether or not this CT side stands a damn chance in the face of Virtus Pro, who are looking to make a run to the playoffs. Make it a look that deep run. Honestly, another matchup between VP and Spirit in the grand finals. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. We're just here for the good counter and countered on the boost in Connector by the short pipe <laughs> outside Ma'am. the B site. <laughs> but there's another boost. A peppering of the 5-7. Whenever you see a boost there, you know that it's not double monster plus wood mm. wall. So, hey, it's time to walk out. Bop! Mirror headshot. Instantaneous. CTs do scramble to get into the position of watchers, so these pistols could catch you off guard. Don't get caught slipping nor sleeping. He walks up, my friend. They're going to push through the Molotov. They know their time is limited, so make your move. Get active. And unfortunately for Bet Boom, not even a single kill off of this B stack show of strength already just being so clean with it but there's nothing to worry about so far if you're bet boom just waited for that rifle see what you can put down and they're not planting because they're they're worried about two just how yep. safe they are they're walking through the a site so they know that they're around here zorte getting into a great position for the potential of an exit kill oh, there's two walking up towards a three one it's insane two, how they're not three, flanking four. anybody Oh, yeah, they're not even... No, 
you are right. They are still not flanking anybody. <laughs> but as the deagle rings out, flip flattened siren. What if? What if? No kit. Though. What if what? Nothing. Yeah, since Orte walked in. You walk into my house? He's been waiting for these exits, and they don't even come his direction. So it's a flawless one for VP to get that 3 nil start. Yeah, they got to be happy. They look, look at, at the stats. Look at that. <laughs> smiling in the back. Right, so cute. And they have so much money. That's pretty much how you want to start your day. With the 3-0. 3-0 and... A rich VP is a happy VP. A good breakfast, a small coffee, a hot shower, and a 3-0 start. And a 3-0 start. That's I'm a simple man. That's peace and freedom right there. I'm a simple man. Game running it through the molly off his best spawn. And they don't extinguish it, so he's trying to see if he can cheat anybody pushing out towards long by listening. Zorte on the boost here on short. That's like a safe version of the boost. Yeah, there. Yeah, people are boosting behind the pillar itself yeah, now, and then yeah. peeking out. It's really, really strong. Okay, cool. Whoa, that was a close one. Knows they're around there. Mm -hmm. But that uh, that big bullet whizzes by. That's Dan. It's taking the two AGs, however, and two spotted back on B. They know it's. They don't know if they hit anybody, however. Oh, Zorte has missed a massive time. Oh, wait, wait, maybe not. It works. <gasps> Yeah, it works out. Okay, ooh, man, if that divider peak is on the other side, yeah. it felt like Zorte's doomed. Yep. But instead, Fame hits the deck. Flip prying into sight, but no movement out of these double deep monsters set up. Yeah, they really don't want to end B in the situation, as you can see clearly from the minimap, but the bomb's out here at 40 seconds. It's going to be hard to ferry back over towards the A site, so they're going to risk it, it looks like, and hey oh, there. no kill goes down. Good cover out of Dan. It's making sure they were both aware and prepared. Yeah. Hey there, Norbert. This is a VP save, right? Oh, wait. They Hold got on. a kill. At 25 seconds, normally VP won't bank on something like this. They know when to call it quits, but they take their chances and they meet their makers. Napany double, Siren a single, and Betboom wastes no time answering with the gun round. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's a great way to get back in. And they played super active there with Zorte. They were trying to call out their short B presence. Boosting up, throwing nades, spamming over and over again, and uh, Zorte, even after getting the info back on B, came up to A and really got the round started. Get the party started on a Saturday night. A classic. Also, if you like to party, stick around. Stick around, baby. What about those? Crimson kimonos? Yeah, I feel like I see them on, like, Monacy has them. Mm -hmm. Very expensive. They're pretty, are they? Yep. Oh. They're versatile, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Hedge mazes. Because I like my vice gloves. Yeah. But then I'm like, I also want something else. We're due for some new ones, man. Give me some new gloves. Yeah, you know, man. We need some, where are the CS2 gloves? Yeah, I wouldn't even mind like a whole different model in the same vein as the sports gloves. Like bright yellow rubber kitchen gloves. Hell yeah, dude. And, uh, yeah, and then add a butter knife to the game. Mm -hmm. Maybe a spatula. We're due for a battle axe. Ooh, this is going to be quick. It's a fast one off Norbert and Mir looking for the entry, and they catch the water player. But there's two behind the pillar. Oh, both so spotted. Great trade by Siren. If he oh. could have gotten the next one, CT's come out of that engagement <gasps> with a man up. They Chiron, don't know about Chiron. He's fast. Do they? Oh, they do. He's They're on the crossing. flank. <gasps> the water player almost. They exchange glances. Chiron gets his kill. Flit activates what? from behind, which then gets Chiron to turn around. He didn't know about the second. So lickety split, VP respond right back. He just watched the fastest VP round in history. You ever heard of the Fast and the Furious? Yes. Based on this team. Based on this team for once. <laughs> yeah, for the one round <laughs> in their lives. Uh, who says VP don't play fast? Yeah, they did try to just turn up. And I think James said the game isn't really being sped up that much since or Norbert, since the rounds are more expensive is the way that he described it. And uh, but yet I do it's true. I mean VP have definitely been a bit more quick about it. And it's a symptom of getting their new riflers too, like Flame Fit and and uh, Flame and Fit both want to go. Just like that, 
And nearly broke Fat Boom. This yeah. pretty much destroys the half if Virtus Pro win here, T side round especially. Yeah. The certainty of that last round and the efficiency of the trade frags. Yeah. Because I mean, that was just like one long gunfight. Mm -hmm. Really was. Yeah, BP come out better. I would love the Nero article on how many rounds BP win without planting a bomb. I love Nero articles. Yeah. Full stop. I can read. It's the same B setup with oh. the two along the wall, but this time Napany finds the opening kill. He's off to a great start, six and four. Oh, yeah. Third layer of this B setup. Mir's on the response, and it's so blinded. Oh Siren. God, Mir. Oh, he couldn't see a damn thing. And then Naphany comes out of that smoke grenade looking for a trade frag, and the man advantage they opened with is gone. Danitz hasn't had a chance to shoot at anything. 30 seconds. Weird smoke on short. Not perfect. Heaven smoke comes in, but it's a fake because they're already readying the A-side hit. Slowly but surely, Fame's on the approach. Oh, Zorte's moving to CT. His uncertainty could cost him. At least he has a bit more cover. It's better to stay alive here. But he wants to take someone down, and oh, he will clip nice Fame one. off the side of the truck. Oh, that could have been a collateral, but a deep push from Jame around the seconds. side. He has to plant any CTs could stop this if they're close, All good. but they're not. He All couldn't good. even go around back dice. Now, how do they post plant, however? This has to be a snap call. They're going to play very actively. They made a ton of sound. These CTs are fully heard on the approach. So the big picture is already known. Chiron! Oh! No way! <laughs> Chiron snaps for the second kill. That's a disgusting 1v2. That first kill had to be the headshot because he needs to react to the second kill. It peak. has to be. That so was, he was basically 100% dead right there. And slam. He saves the economy. That was 4 1. They would have been crushed in this half if not for that 1v2. That's one of those moments where your rating will not be reflected in, in the, the same importance way that of those two yeah, kills. Because that was crazy important. So it wasn't just Flash, it was everything here for Beth Boom. It is sort of just to stay afloat uh, right now, but yeah, I think VP will definitely try to buy something because they know that uh, that boomer still broke. Free bet of $10 on first registration with the promo code DACHA at BetBoom. DACHA gotcha. The investment is a bit of a half buy. I feel like I'd be surprised if James doesn't really... They're spending money so... I want to poke Jane with a stick, man. Across. Come on, do something. Buy something. Yeah. They, get, get yourself something nice. They know Bad Boomer. Like, it's like a last buy sort of situation for them. They could crush him, get two rounds, but let's see. They're taking attack, okay? James said, I have $5,800. I need 30 minutes to be able to calculate what to do with this one. I'm hoping we've got the Chiron double at the end of this. Oh, this is yeah. just... Oof. This is disgusting, man. Wow. Yeah, that headshot on Jame is sick. And Fair you don't play. usually catch Jame... In, in, you, know, you don't usually catch him with those kinds of kills. And in a one versus two, one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jame just gave him that. You know, Jame could have easily closed that if it wasn't for a superb headshot. Definitely. So, you know, Jame goes a little bit in. Well, Chiron takes him all the way out. Answer is a fast one. Tech Nine's in the bomb site. You've caught one guy exposed towards graffiti. Water Peak comes up. It's a double. Uh -oh. Mac 10 and the Tech Nine, followed by the Heaven Frag, but there's damage back. And Naphne's looking to clean up these kills while Zorte remains smoked out. It's pressure on Flit to continue to fight low health. Bomb down with two deeper and one close water under heaven. Naphne taking a risk, but they're not exposing oh. themselves. Oh. Jane peaks as the fallback happens, and the fast response out of Jane keeps this economic back and forth alive. They actually, they had their cake and ate it too. James saved all that money. Flit still has money left over. This was a half buy. Not even a full investment off the tack pause. That's a kind of a crazy call to make this buy and then to make it work like this. So well, crazy call is synonymous with Jame call. I think they were willing to. I think in there. Oh my God! They get the op down. Free op. No Jame op just saves four thousand dollars, gets a free op, wasn't wins the round, and puts the opponents in the worst economic state yet. Wasn't he just in B? Uh huh. Oh man. Okay, so. I think maybe the logic for him is we get the bomb down on this rush and we get two or three kills, then Bat Boom are still going to be relatively broke for next round where we have way more money. Mm. But now they win. Dude, look at Jame. $7,700. Just off armor and 7K for Jame. He has set his team up economically for like the next two or three. Generational wealth here is the mm. Warren Buffett of esports. Invest in real estate today. And don't ask questions. Big old pistol push coming through from the B site. Oh. 
You could leave. You could if you want to. James sticks around. That AK has been grabbed. He'll find the second to Siren. There was a nade that supported from the squeaky door to soften up a couple. And while they have lost control of the AK-47, expect VP to just pump the brakes. Oh, oh nice beautiful. Naffany. The, the op is now in their hands. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Style points. Flit takes a bit of a risk coming in on his own, but Mir will clean up from the other pipe. AK still for Naffany. A critical follow-up frag. It's a 1v2. Where the bomb is actually on the side of fame, but he has to approach. Naffany's, I, I assume he's going to try to find a timing, but... With the way that Flit is peeking with his feet, he might actually give this up. The approach is coming in slowly. The you bomb can scoop bomb and leave. He could. Oh, He's distracted with the monster player, nice. so the close peek works. Fane grabs bomb, the final frag, and it's a nice attempt at a bet boom to get something done with less. Very nice, yeah. The five swing on monster, they pick up the op. James tries to recover it. James is the night ninja with the M9 bayonet and flip knife knight, an affordable inventory, but an inventory that you too could own using our partner service for the exchange and sale of skins, CS, CS money. money. No wonder he has all that money, he's buying skins like that. And still getting away with matching and having a great inventory. Just saving. The night ninja. The time wizard. The eternal. James. Oh, they just shot a couple bullets. I guess they... Well, that's out of... Got exposed a little bit. I'm not sure if they saw anybody. They're sticking around, readying a repush, which I like that idea. But I think that's sometimes common thought as well. That teams are not leaving now unless you really pressure them. So we'll see how that works out. I want to say Chiron's great in fights like this. Oh no, he can't get the kill. He's not alone though. Working alongside Zorte. That's a pretty big win for VP. Push him back off the two player long setup. You know, these days, a lot of times you're playing 1A, they find the wa monster walkout timing. Danitz up top. Nice position for an off angled frag. A weird smoke. And a second one as well. Ooh, <laughs> nicely repositioned. It didn't even move. Dude, smooth. Yeah, that's hell. I like it. It's certainly unexpected. Mirror's like, hey, he's probably going to go short now or something. Nope. No, he's standing on this thing I didn't know existed. Not a bad way to get yourself up 5v3. And knowing VP, they're going to call it quits here. They weren't able to get long control at the start of the round. Mm -hmm. Fame was lucky to even get away from that Chiron fight. Or do they trick them into thinking there's a save and then just send in Flit? Uh, they decide otherwise. They've Sometimes gone in these late round situations, I don't even see James talking. So I wonder how these ideas get communicated. <laughs> I mean, telepathically, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the course. So that one's all Danitz, baby. Just two simple frags outside of the B site. And VP pull the plug. Oh, shadow advantage on that angle too. True, true. CS2 angle right there. Mm. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna I try that out. They they take some risks though with some of these positions that they play. It's like all or nothing. Like if someone came up short, they would die. You can see their barrel sticking out. They didn't have short control with the player. But that's what's uh, scary. They give you the option to go for short. They know you're probably not playing. Oh, where did Flit get that kill? Inside connector. Inside connector, okay. Now we've got a party player taking the fight and the attention away from Zorte. Oh, is Nafni usually playing rotator? Okay, he gets that one. But, but yeah. peeked in the back of the head. Fame knows he can now take long control. Yeah, this is chases the, uh, that chases Tyron back to the site, forces his hand. B also feels tempting. They could, yeah, they could smoke B off, but like they kind of worry about the walkout, but they also have to reinforce A. So now they're forced to gamble, basically, one side or the other. And I think, yeah. E even though they're making the wrong play, I think it makes sense that they try to gamble in some way. But they're going to be stacking A. This is a rotation win for VP. Let's see, sometimes they take so long that teams come back. Sure, <laughs> yeah. Actually, but. But you also have to be willing 
to call that rotation back. Yeah, and you know, when, when it's Jame, you don't even call the rotation until there's like 10 seconds left because they could literally just be waiting there for a second. A little longer than most people will. That's why considering that we don't really have a head-to-head -head between Bet Boom and Virtus Pro, that actually does kind of take away some of the confidence that I had in Bet Boom because most people don't beat Virtus Pro the first time they play them in officials. Yeah, they're, uh, yeah, they're like that gym leader that you face here when they're way too strong. You need to come back later, beat them. Yeah. You hit a, you know, it's like it's like wandering into the wrong area of Elden Ring. Of Elden Ring, yeah, sure, exactly. You're not supposed to be there, True. but nobody nobody kind of warns you. You know, you can find yourself there suddenly, That's and you got to take your first whooping to realize, oh, oh, yeah, I'm not good enough yet. Yeah, it's like when you go into the graveyard, Dark Souls one, and then you find the skeleton wheels. That's James. The oh, you would like them, wheel. dude. You need to play Dark Souls. You would totally love them. Everything in that game. I'm, I'm working. I saw on your it. face when I said skeleton wheels. I skeleton wheels. Skeleton wheels. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You piqued my interest. Okay, okay. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Norbert. Remember to answer the questions about Counter-Strike on BetBoom yeah. and thus participate in the draw for $3,000 in free bets. Free bets. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Time Call. is money. Call today. And money is power. Talks. Both. Both. Mm. It's a foggy day in the studio. brain fog it's like an after party at the gymnasium you know what sign the me basketball up basketball court sign me yeah, up yeah that's a vibe i do feel like basketball courts would make a great dance floor yeah you see that all the squeaking yeah floor shines i mean that's where high school dances were yeah yeah did you ever go to those did you have those yeah a couple yeah we used to do break dancing competitions at ours that's pretty sweet really cool huh that is pretty cool isn't it well, then you remember that I grew up in the country. Okay. Just a bunch of white hillbillies <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> thinking they can dance. <laughs> okay. Can you well, break dance? Zorte can. Okay. Just broke Jame over his knee. Ooh, do they know Chiron's going to be in the corner? No, I don't think so. Oh. I think the op dipped. Flit heard it but leave. But if you're not careful, you get... Oh, he walked through the smoke. Oh, timing's wall. Oh, my God. It's not supposed to go down like that. There was They're two CTs everyone. in there. Okay, oh. they'll shoot Flit in the back of the head, but they've already lost their B site. They, they won't, surely won't know Naphany's on the full flank, though, right? What if they push Are they going to plan for heaven now? What if they go A? Naphany? Nah, no cover. Turn oh. around, Norbert. Hits the headshot. There's another player there, though, they in Chiron. Because Chiron got the kill. Like I'm saying, go A. There's too much pressure, oh, pressure on the back line. Oh, peeking out, but he misses it. Sees a nade getting thrown. And now Zorte's going to watch his flank. They're going to run. Can Zorte stop it here? Yes. Nice shot. The Robert could leave, can leave, will leave. Get on up there. Spin that baddie. Ooh, rare animation. And here we go. 1v2. Gun is up. Retakes on. Now, Chiron, I love the reposition. It's so fast to get back up connector. Norbert seems wary of it. But the question will be, can he section off oh, the fight? The oh, this is a crazy position to be in. But it does give you an interesting way to get one kill. Zorte's still concerned that the bank push could have happened. So Chiron's on his own here. And Norbert doesn't peek deep enough to spot it. Shadow. Oh, oh. doesn't get that headshot snapped in. Woo. Chiron slowly creeps through. And it's a very rapid response to what could have been a B-site crumbled. If they just stuck around on short, they're done. But the fact they push all the way around Monster, didn't let off the pedal, didn't let off the pressure, they're yeah. not going to let BP win all of them. I was feeling bad for them right there. Zorte gets the kill. Chiron's in an interesting bait spot. Flit just walks through the smoke on his short. And then they lose a player because of it. But this play from Nathan to take advantage of the fact they didn't know two were there was good. And then Chiron as a closer, obviously, also brings justice to the situation. Because if Norbert gets that kill on Chiron, Zorte's coming up from Dumpster. He doesn't have an angle on the trade frag. It's another 1v1 duel. So this is last round of the half now. Yes, and they sir. both have a full buy. And... Oh. Ooh, and not bad. Yeah. It's, I, mean, I would take that if I was a T, though. You get the opera down. 
Yeah, but it did feel like Zorte was dead no matter what. So taking someone oh. with you. Kyra, is he going to clear this? He doesn't look like he is. Nah, Mir's got him locked in. Sidelined. Blindsided. And honestly, set up for what could be a wonderful A hit. Right now, three players up on Monster. Nobody there for the CTs. They'll send one first. Like, no long is completely clear. Like, there's no way that there could have a long setup with this. So they're just cheating all the space right now. Really comes down to this rotator. I think Dan, it's dropped from the server again. I think this is a 4v2. Oh, I see. Naphany. Mm, yeah, he's not going to get anything. Just quick kill up close. Yeah, unfortunate. Dan, it's poor guy, victim of it again. Did he already drop some this half? No, another yesterday. Game? Oh, I see. Okay. Remember he got he was smashing tables. Yeah, he's he's toast. So this one's done. Eight four is the half, mm -hmm. and Virtus Pro. A varied. I'm I'm not gonna say it wouldn't make a difference, but the with the way that that went down in short, and then them knowing that they could take long control like that, it was gonna be a very hard round regardless. But of course, obviously. It's not fair to say when you lose a player. Of course. He would have tried. would have happened. Last yeah, exactly. round of the half, yeah. you know? It's not like it's just like a save denied or something. Yeah. So uh, frustrating, no doubt. But uh, just one more added to the tally for the VPT side, which was an impressively varied offense. Mm -hmm. It uh, was. It all was. over the place. And I would even say, uncharacteristically, more fast rounds than I expect out of a VPT side. Definitely. Like, some rounds dying literally by elimination is already weird. Yep. Um, in a good way. But, uh, no, they cranked the dial on the tempo. They did. When they went for map control, they've been looking that consistently good all tournament, though. Like, they know it's a monster timing. Oh, it's a long, it's free. Oh, there's players probably here. Like, they really didn't get caught off a lot. I got to say, Zorte did a good job of finding openings somehow. It was a very hard game, I think, for Opera and Opera to do so. But uh, even with that, only the four rounds in total. And, uh, you know, CT side is what you're supposed to look forward to. But they're still playing for it. They're not playing looking around. They're playing high communication. They're playing to push together and everything. Good assortment of reactions coming out of, of that boom, I think, overall. It's been nice to watch them play in general. I have enjoyed casting Virtus Pro at this event. Yeah, same. We don't usually get to kind of outside of our circuits, our usual circuits, so, yeah. um, you know. Yeah, it's been, I think CS2 is just like the perfect sort of, forces them to speed up a bit, and then they're I also love, being yeah. good at it, so. I love MR12 and Virtus Pro. It's a great combo. I'm happy. We look back on like the best MR15 games with Virtus Pro. Every movie was like a Christopher oh. Nolan, like three hour epic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was, and it always an exciting finish, but she, it's like, you know, enough with the dialogue. Yeah. No, literally. <laughs> I mean, the best of threes look, took longer than Nolan movies. You know what I mean? Like they just <laughs> if BP were playing MR15 best of three, you weren't doing anything else with your day. No, you weren't. Yeah. You were locked in. As Bet Boom are right now versus them. Locked in. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. That's a nice custom from Zorte. I love the... Yeah, outer that. case. Yeah. I think I have something very similar. Actually. Not a lot of players, not a lot of players compete with custom keyboards. Custom keyboards. Yeah, Obviously, because you should have a spare with you at all times, right? Like if you're a professional player, you'd better be traveling with two of the same keyboards, mm -hmm. or two incredibly similar keyboards at the very least. Yeah. And I mean, two identical customs. That takes a little. Well, if you put, if you carry, if you travel with it in your carry-on, mm -hmm. then you don't need two, right? Well, let's say it just breaks. You know, just sometimes breaks, mechanical yeah. failure, See, spill would, something on it. I'm not sure if I would do two keyboards. I would definitely do two mice. Just because it has to be the same I'd model. I do two of each, bro. I do two of each. I do but two in-ears, two keyboards, two mice. Yeah, that's that's good. Because you mean. never want to be in that situation. Yeah. But keyboards. I do one in the check bag, I'll one in the carry-on. I honestly, I frag on any keyboard, man. Well, <laughs> we're not all launders, are we? <laughs> but we're also not all losers. Go to bet boom and you can get a free bet of ten dollars on your first registration with the promo code dotcha gotcha gotcha bet boom odds now very much swayed to the favor of virtus pro understandably with this substantial 8-4 map one lead second pistol 
queued up with Norbert on dual Berettas. Three players outside of Monster, two here towards short for the five-man B split. That is what Bet Boom want to throw. Oh my and God. oh boy, it gets knocked out of the park on the defensive end of things. Jesus. Pipe gets shut down, short gets shut out, and Siren stuck alone in the muddy waters of the monster push. His teammates' corpses all around him. He's down to 17 health. And this one could spell disaster for the Bet Boom map one attempt. Yeah, we'll look back on this as two pistol wins first first of all, and then also a very dominant T side on overpass. And yeah, I mean, what can you do about this? So that's that's a call like that is it's just a skeleton buy into a split with a short hit and you just say, look, they gotta basically dislodge one of two choke points, and they can't do that on either front. If they can dislodge one of two choke points, then the flood can come in. But if they lose their first two engagements on both short and monster, you can't get the phalanx off, basically. It's done. You need that phalanx, okay? Sun Tzu style. USP for Mir. Confidence. James said, trust me, it works. Norbert's been softened up. That's an M4 chucked over to Mir. Now poor Norbert stuck on a pistol USP and only 30 health, but James taking a good amount of map control, and here's this. James is kind of like Randall from Recess, too. Yeah, a bit, yeah. Just taking notes on everything you do. Loves Miss Finster. <laughs> Oh, he's coming back. He heard both parts of that rotation. Yeah, he wanted to get to that pack that had pushed by, but uh, yeah. Zorte was chasing him unknowingly. So he forced James' hand. He said, I'm sorry, son, but you're dead now. What if he just whispered weird things to himself when he's in flanks like this? Like, James hungry, James hungry. <laughs> oh, Flip finds a bunch. Ooh, money in the back That's pocket. That's max money here on the SMGs. Stacking the cash. And Siren, just like the pistol. Stuck outside the B site. SMGs, oh geez, oh man. Siren, the closer. He's always putting in work right now. <laughs> Popping with the nine millies. See ya. Okay. That is all MP9 frags. They had two M4s, but five MP9 frags. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. CS like money. Mind you. In the final stage of CS Money's eCosplay contest has already begun. Go to CS Money, click on that banner, and choose your contest winning cast play. Moreover, you get cast for your CS Money market balance after casting your vote. Your more vote matters. CS2, go to the polls. Every vote always matters. And if you don't vote, it's a vote for the winner. So everything matters all the time. Everything matters all the time. Everything matters all the time. <laughs> everything matters all the time. <laughs> Are you enjoying your morning? Well, yeah. remember, everything matters all the time. Yeah. Yes, your friends are talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not going to scrutinize the scoreboard here because this has been a really team game, mm -mm. like in terms of what's been good and what's been bad from both sides. And I think it's actually been a matter of good and better, where I think Bat Boom haven't done anything like egregiously bad in the, their first half, but Verbs Pro have been absolutely fantastic, I think, overall, on top of the two pistols, which just inflates the scoreline. So it's not necessarily as bad as it looks, but T-Side will could just be way too difficult to overcome right now. We'll have to see how they adapt to Verbs Pro's unique way of playing CT-Side as well, since they don't have any head to head of course, that means Jane playing solo A very often. They're definitely the best team in the world that use A the least on overpass. Triple stack on the defense. Siren. Looking to pry something out of this. There's always a daunting way to open B site, right? Behind pillar, barrels, right or left. 
You never quite know, but it's two headshots between Danitz oh, and wow. Siren. That's James Op is still in play. And that's a smoke. His own smoke gets thrown on the ground as he's about to throw it. Bane has a chance. He hears the rumblings of the A hit. They're pushing through, and I mean, Chiron's just going to give up the control. Damn, all of a sudden, you've kind of lost your alternative attack. Yeah, it looked frantic for a second. Now they need to get kind of lucky again. Gun out, bud. Yeah, gun out. And Kills good. the short player. Won't deal with Zorte. That Desert Eagle is... Oh, oh it's enough. God damn. Beautiful headshot deep into heaven. But you put Jame in a clutch. And Zorte stuck on the corner. The USP is going to creep in. He's got the, Yes, he's going to look for the other one first. No scopes him. Moves up. Oh, how does he do how it? How does he do it? How does he do it, James? How do you do it, man? Dude. Is he choking? I said CSGO should add a battle axe. Well, to James, it's his op. Look at him. He oh, just, he just sticks it to them both. And that's after this wonderful shot from Zorte. I wanted to know what this looked like from the other perspective when he's walking through. Because obviously, Naphne's kind of ready for this. <laughs> wow. It looks like he just wants to make sure it's a headshot before he starts shooting. Because he kind of looks. But where? There you go. James is an anomaly. Completely. 16 and 5 off the back of the 1v2 clutch. Keeps Bet Boom away from touching success on their T side. Yeah. Which is going to keep them in the distance in here on map one. interview, he said, like, that people criticize the way that they play because they play a little bit crazy with it. And it was funny because, like, they criticize Gamer Legion for not playing in matches like they do in scrims. But they kind of do that too. I mean, they do play very risky. They do just try to. They take risks on both CT side and T side mm. with their individual plays. But they're all on the same page. Um, and I think the thing is Verter Pro are just so meticulous that they're they're really ready for it's hard to catch them with those mistakes. Like if there's anyone who's gonna punish you before you hop into tier one, it's gonna be them. So okay. Full buy here for Bet Boom to defend against map point. We're talking about one AK. Early made damage jumps down into connector. They kind of forfeited a good advantage though, eh, with that first push though. They got those two kills. Yeah. yeah. They ran into A. They made it feel desperate. I just think I think you know uh, the B players maybe I don't think made as much of a glaringly obvious mistake, but I mean Chiron should have in my mind anticipated somebody at A. Yeah. Especially because like you killed two B. There was four B. I suppose that catches them off. You thought maybe the guy would scramble rotate. Oh, how did he wall bang him there? Zorte did that. Wait, Zorte did that wood wall? Oh, okay, he must have been peeking yeah, a little bit. Yeah, just the corner yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Surely. Well, that's pretty good. It ain't half bad. Norbert. Spotted. Uh-oh. Not ideal. You gotta, re you gotta yeah. move, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna just peek behind that. Naphne has no problem. No problem whatsoever on the approach. It's crazy how much a molly missing by that much can make the difference. Yeah. Hey, man, you give the guy a foot. You get the foot in your butt. Yeah. Upside the head. Head kicks are a dangerous tool in combat sports. Yeah. That's a Mirko Krokop. Hit him with him? The yeah, hit him with the Mirko Krokop. Croatian the Special Forces turned MMA fighter. Remember his foot stomps before he got into the UFC? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It wasn't allowed though afterwards. Yeah. Probably for good reason. I hated watching it. When I saw him do that, was it Pride? I yeah, can't remember. Pride. Yeah, it was Pride. Yeah, when I saw him do that in Pride, I was like, man, I just don't want to even watch that. It just looks so pain. I think about how, you know, there's like 200 bones in your foot or whatever. They're all tiny. Yep. You break your pinky toe like eight times in your lifetime just by walking, and then it just heals itself. And then Miracle Crow Cop just comes like, stomps on your head. A thousand pounds of force stomps on your foot. It's like, Jesus. <laughs> it's like, even if you win the fight at that point. Oh, it was through smoke though. We didn't see that. Oh, yeah. Look Zorte. how much look how much room Naphne has to work <laughs> with behind that Molotov. Yeah, got to be precise. Don't know what's going on right yeah, now trying to read the room there yeah, sorry I, just, I, just, I have no <laughs> idea so Let's see something something two yeah 
I love CS2. Oh. It's like, yeah, yeah, we all do. Yeah. Now shut up and play. Headphones back on. Let's get gaming, baby. Lock it in. Day five of the Bet Boom Dacha Dubai 2023 events. Day five. Time flies. Dude, it really does. Time flies when you have an after party every two days. That also <laughs> blurs the lines. <laughs> time flies when you're nine hours out of your own time zone. Flying through time. Very critical round win that last yeah, one. Yeah, it could have been two. Yeah, could have been two. Been. This, this, we could already be heading to the second map of the series, but no, I mean two for bed boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll but find out. first kill. Oh, they're just good they're really push. They're risking it here. Good push, good trades, but the trade train ends with man advantage in the hands of BP. Mir tucks his head back into the water, and Zorte is not able to kill him yet. So he'll unload his utility with a teammate right with him. They have to commit to the B play. And Norbert's incendiary gets picked up by Zorte. An additional smoke on the site. That Molly gets smoked out by the counter terrorists, and Mir just keeps floating behind this. Zorte's gonna find him. He's got the right idea. Zorte's reading this. The push will be hard to see. James not seeing anything right Big now. Big play. Big play. Zorte. He knows he's right there. He's going to try to jump up Wait, on him. Why did he push that? Oh, James killed his teammate on sight. Yes, oh he did. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. James with another two kills in a late situation. A oh. clutch added to the top of it. And despite Zorte's best efforts, he just can't get past James. He can't, dude. That's another 1v2. Zorte brought some X Factor that situation. Once again, nearly figured out a way to put that puzzle together. James, he's James just an 8x8 eight eight Rubik's Cube. Yeah, boss man's shooting for the moon right now. 18 and 5, I guess. And in contrast to yesterday, we're not quite getting the hard-hitting bet boom. Bet boom. But remember that there is... You ready for this? I'm ready. $3,000 in free bets up for grabs. If you answer the questions about Counter-Strike on bet boom, you can participate in the draw for said $3,000. Get active. How much does an MP9 cost? Depends on which one you want. But if you've got $3,000, there's a chance. Oh, sorry. Not the skins. Uh, I thought you meant skins. Yes. MP9 costs 12 dollars You weren't about to just list off the price of every MP9 skin. That would no, be I impressive. was going to say with 3000 you could maybe buy a Wild Lily from the St. Mark collection, okay. like the one Henry G plays with. The nicest MP9 in all the lands belongs to one Henry Greer. He also has the wee bog. Henry White Pants Boat Shoes Greer. New and improved. Oh. Whoa. Norbert's feeling a little bogged down right now on Monster. It's not one of his best performances. He's got a couple important kills, but it's not like he's dominating the space. That's true. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if he can take it up a notch or if he even needs to. Potentially final round of the first map, but they've given up all the space towards A site. I think they're re-smoking monsters so they can start to ha have stack A a little bit more. And I think they're right. They're they're preparing for this attack to come in. So the fame jame combo here on the A site, not something you actually see that often. Op duel. Because the way they set up. Ooh, a warning shot for Jame. That's interesting. Whoa, long presence spotted. spotted on long at 45 seconds. They know what's coming. Yes, sir. So they throw a third one into the bomb site. Tucked in the corner is Norbert. They could fake and go back to A. It would be very scary to try to do. But, oh, okay, they get a kill instead. Yeah, all right. Fame gives one opening over. Oh, and no shot. Jame missed chance. Car player, though. It's Norbert from the corner. <laughs> from B. Take him off that B site. Throw him here instead. We've got the entry down towards the B site. Bomb is scrambling to get down in the last 20 seconds. And the CTs have no control of this site. Okay. They'll go for the immediate connector flank. We've got Mir walking already back in CT. He's ready for a push. Let's see if Siren gets this. 10 seconds left to plant the bomb. It goes down. Short player smoked out still. So he's going to have to take the slow approach. Oh. But losing the support player. Pushing it to Zorte. No way he pieces together the 1v4. No way they come back on overpass. Because VP stamped their name on this map yet again. Five outings on overpass versus Spirit. They can't break through. Bet Boom the challengers. They can't break through. A certainty for VP at the moment. Wins 
on this map. Yeah, that's a uh, very impressive overpass, very impressive, tur impressive tournament on overpass here for VP. Nothing looks bad, and uh, they are punishing every mistake. That boom could not get into that game, besides even just grabbing the both pistols. Overall, the clutches, the mid rounds. When VP played against Spirit, it was a similar story. They were better in the more experienced positions of every round, whether it was late or, 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 or the middle of the round. So that's what we expected from Virtus Pro, and that's what they delivered. They just, I mean, they can't be toppled here, man. It's been a long time that Virtus Pro just locked down overpass. Mirage, though. I think Mirage is a map where VP definitely look a little more human. Mm -hmm. And uh, But what we're going to need, of course, is an uptick in some of these individual levels. You can't be affording Siren, Chiron, and Danitz all outside of the you know double digits kill mark. Chiron had that amazing 1v2 clutch, but yeah. look, 40 ADR at the end. Yes. And Danitz is not having a good day when he had a fantastic day yesterday. Yeah, I mean, he was right there with Zorte across both maps. Unfortunately, opens up slow versus VP. And how can you keep up to this performance from Jame? I mean, man was everywhere all the time, all late once. rounds, constantly. We want to talk about Chiron's 1v2. Man, Jame was the guy shutting out every other clutch in the, in the map. Yeah, seriously. That was a stellar ironclad performance out of VP. Also, quick glance to the bottom left corner. You see those four one-off rounds in the CT side. Economically, I mean, poor Bet Boom in a stranglehold that entire CT half. And there was that amazing call from Jame where he was able to put together money for his team to buy certain things. He didn't buy the off. They were going to save that yep. round. Then they crushed on the T side with that B rush. So key moments where economy mattered in a round where Bat Boom had the advantage, still couldn't close out those ones. And I liked the change of pace that we got out of VP some of these rounds on their T side. I thought that it was an uncharacteristically aggressive half at times, you know? In an anti-eco, they lose a player, they slow down, it's the classic VP. But there wasn't just that one B rush. Mm -hmm. They hit him with it a couple of times. Same with the long overwhelm and it just felt like jane was playing and calling with cerebral precision today yeah. 18 and 6 82 adr easily the best player in the server for overpass it's an opera's paradise and his last chance this year to be able to win a LAN, mm -hmm. which is something that he's had had the chance to play uh for the majority of the year even though they've been a very impressive team so you know he's got his uh fangs He's bearing thanks for this tournament. He really wants to be able to show something. And the quality of teams here is actually pretty high. It's like sort of surprisingly high based on the debuts, some of the teams that have come in. But uh, a lot of the hard competition has almost already been disposed of. Most is, of. Yeah, which has been surprising. Now VP probably even more aware of their presence right now as probably the best team in playoffs. Yes, absolutely. But also knowing that the team that denied them of their last LAN win in the grand finals is still alive and Ooh. kicking. That is Spirit up later today versus MIBR to see if they can lock this one in. It's not a surefire thing here for Virtus Pro as Mirage is up next and Bet Boom want to respond with a little bit of aggression. We'll see you there for all the violence, momentum, and speed you could possibly ask for.
<laughs> oh, just sipping your oh, tea there. Hey. Welcome back, eh? A little bit of Counter Strike for you on day five of the Bed Boom Dacha Dubai 2023. I'm Scrawny, that's Launders. <laughs> Bro showed up back in like 2015 at an American land for no reason. We would think they are literally aliens. James gonna have to give his body up for science when his time comes. Siren one kill. Oh, oh. poor Siren stuck on the corner of oh, wall. Oh man, they That's, just yeah. That, that they get really nervous when they lose the B site to start jumping through the smoke. Yeah, like, that, that ain't working twice, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there was no flash with that either from supporting from CT spawn. Also, last time smoke was further out from the window, so he had a little wiggle room on the jump out. It's a great tempo change. Yeah, I mean, this is what I'm talking about, right? We go back to overpass as well. I think that like they picked time, great time. The VP rush. Play. It's like it's like James has discovered aggression. Yeah, and he's using it mm. in his way. Mm -hmm you know, sporadically, but he is yet to miss with one of these rush rounds. He really has, yeah. And he's not throwing them just versus anti ecos It's it's in straight-up gun rounds that James has sprinkled, what, maybe I would say this is the third, maybe fourth rush in the entire series, and each of them has net VP a successful round with. Remember the Astralis one, he waited until the first round of overtime, and then did two. Whoa! <laughs> Doing a max bet on slots. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that twenty dollar roll. Feel Thirty for it. Seventy five cents. Seventy five cents. Seventy five cents. Twenty bucks. Oh. Seventy five cents. Seventy five cents. Twenty bucks. Hit me with that lucky Larry's lobster mania, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some crawfish. Crawfish. Squirrel ain't bad if you boil it first. All right, desperate times call for desperate measures. Danitz, single AK to the top of middle Ooh. with an opening kill. Almost clipped the bomb there, too. However, these are the kinds of rounds that VP love to slow down in response to an opening death. Oh, but Danitz, Danitz will not slow down. And Siren's pistol is perfectly placed up on the railings. It's Norbert's task to recover it all oh, now. This one goes Norbert's the day. way of Bet Boom. Wow. And Danitz. A little pop off, but it's well earned. Two critical kills top mid. He had to do something big with the solo AK, if and he, he did. If he didn't get jammed as well, they better, you better believe they lose this round. So this this clip off is massive. That's really well done. And they use that one gun in such a good spot. Top of mid yes, sir. with supporting pistols, watching everything else for him, and even getting trades. And Zorte, he loves that Nova. No surprise turns that into an op. Clean couple of Desert Eagle frags as well there. Tip of the hat to Siren. I wonder if VP sustain on the CT side versus Bat Boom. Um, because, again, they're not, like, amazing on CT side, so... It's not going to be, like, overpass, I don't think. Every round, VP fall victims is something like that. So now they're going to be hyper cautious, super wary, and slow for the rest of the game. Yeah, they're like, all right, that's it. Okay. Oh. Not taking mid until 30 seconds. Well. Double ramp push, but there's a double A default here. This oftentimes you leave one, and James just watches for it. Uncanny. Oh Ooh, my! Lands God. that. He got away without dying and got damage in. Dan is lucky to be alive. He didn't even take a single tick of damage off that engagement. I would have loved to have been able to walk the connector in this situation. Same being very careful walking out of halls. They still don't have eyes on Zorte. Um, and at the moment, Zorte is back in CT spawn. So Palace is actually vulnerable right now. It just comes down to whether or not BP can figure it out. And I, I like the late middle. They come with connector. This is where they put the most pressure on it. It's hard for the CTs to reorganize to defend against this. Could be... Time for Danitz again. Smoke fades, Norbert's there, and he wins the duel. Mm. The little that was left of Danitz hits the ground. Oh, missed shot from Zorte. 
So a two-man advantage with a comfortable connector split. This A site looks like it's ready to fall already. Desperate smoke spams, a little glance over top, but Chiron can't get in with any impact, so it's the double CT peak soon to be. This is where Bet Boom are actually very, not careless, but they're really reckless with their money. Like, they're willing to try it in the 3v5 without a real plan. Like, they're going to try to see if they can scoop out a kill. And again, this is where VP just kind of have to not make a mistake. It's just the opposite of Virtus Pro, really. Yeah. Fire and ice. Potatoes and tomatoes. Fire and ice kind of unfair, though, isn't it? Because fire always wins. Unless there's a lot of ice. Because ice turns into water. Yeah, So, yeah. you know... Does it get too... If the fire melts the ice, it might put itself out once the ice becomes water. That's true. But if you melt ice with a hot enough temperature, it just evaporates right away, yeah? Ooh, that's true. So the question is how much ice so and how hot's so the fire? If the rush doesn't work, rush faster. Oh, there Wise words of Snappy. Easy close as far as Virtus Pro are concerned. That round was never stressful. That's really thanks to James just being very cautious for that potential A ramp Second push, right? Push as well. So many other play how many players would be would, would just look like suckers and get caught by that? If I got not that James. first kill, I would have stood up and started yelling. Sure. Make sure to answer the questions about Counter-Strike on BetBoom and thus participate in the draw for $3,000 in free bets. It's all Counter-Strike questions, so you should know the answers. We know you're a bunch of nerds. I am not a nerd. I am not a gamer, I am a cyber athlete. <laughs> you are now sportsman. Counter-Strike. The jocks of esports. Jocks of esports. Uh oh. No, sir. He got away with it, but now Napanee's going to get active underneath, and Jame doesn't have a teammate. So this time, Jame yeah. will get caught. Oh, 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 oh no. no way! Dude. What? There's no I way. I can't. I can't. I can't believe he hit that. He just danced behind just the wood. Left, right, switch to the op, headshot. Bro, what? There's no way. And he can't recover from that. That's gotta be infuriating. Disconnect. Disconnect. Get out. Log off. Oh my god. James dead. Okay, <laughs> finally. <laughs> He's gonna go down. But I mean, making use of that control in the B apartments, all they're gonna be banking on here is for Siren to go massive. Oh, and his oh, magazine's no. already halfway oh, empty. No. Doesn't get a single kill. And they're gonna just start running through, right? So yet again, it's a desperate rotate to just try and jump out through market. With fire in front of him, Chiron presses to the dumpster, um, but he's burning down to a crisp. Single tick left, and he is dead. Smoke comes out from window to try and block vision off sight. At the very least, it's 3v3. And it's Scours looking for contact, and Norbert's not going to give it to him just yet. It's a push out from the window. Danitz will find his. There's the response back out of VP. They That's push it onto Zorte, who's now in an uncomfortable position. Doesn't seem likely he can save it. Switches over to the pistol, kills Mir, but time is of the essence. Oh my god. And with a missed shot, no chance, he's gone. He's running for the hills, as it is a seventh terrorist round win secured for VP. Wow, he's going to find the kit right there. That actually would have won the round. On that reposition, NT, I didn't think they had any chance of getting close to that retake. They all posted up, being trying to be very aggressive, um, but we've seen their vulnerability when they try to explode back into the B site, and they they throw caution to the wind. They don't have a real game plan for that retake. They just really try to individual skill their way out. And it won't work today. Not this time. VP shooting for that 8-4 half. Could just be yet another success story in this series. Dominating overpass. Starting strong on their opponent's map pick as well. And a map that statistically they tend to struggle on, but not today. Not today. Flit gets a second. Damn. Yeah, man. Flit's pretty sharp right yeah, now. Yeah, he really is. Zorte, he'll smoke off fame. So no potential for the Palace Peeker. But the 
palace peeker has big peepers. Those are eyeballs, right? Yep. And that's enough for them to just go all in A one more time. Siren, the B anchor, is at the very least on defaults and not able to snap that SMG over. Opera is starting to get swarmed. T's dangerously close, and yet he almost manages to hold on. Jamin Mir not concerned with the plant because they just go for kills. It is indeed a comfortable 8 4 half VP. Yeah, that's one of their best uh, T halves ever. They did it off of strong mid rounds. It wasn't like amazing structured executes when they tried to pistol round on T side, the you know right side smoke wall with the simple split. Those strats weren't really what got them the big rounds. They didn't rush that often. When they did, it was great. Um, I think it was Bet Boom's insecurities when it came to losing the B site and the info that consistently was gathered by VP about the B site, whether it was, oh, we see they're not pushing. Oh, we got a, uh, a push off of Cat. I think Bet Boom underplayed Cat a lot and that meant uh, that VP could use it against them. Dame also felt com very comfortable just walking up in the hall, seeing what was going on and never getting killed up there. So definitely the better team won in this half. Absolutely, VP were, were very strong. And that's usually their struggle some half. So Bet Boom took a risk of picking Mirage on the Speedo because they couldn't get Nuke. And now they have to deal with the fact they're down four rounds. And that's with a pistol in that first half. So at least they got that. That ain't the prettiest at least, brother. A free bet of $10 on first registration using code Josh using code <laughs> Dacha at <laughs> BetBoom exclusively. Cha -cha. <laughs> you want to cha-cha with the Dacha? Because we got you. <laughs> All right. For BetBoom's sake, win this second pistol. Oh, man. Completely empty B-site. And they don't even care. And they're right. They're right. And we already saw a really nice uh, go for a boost here. counter pistol back on overpass to VP's favor. So they've got the right pieces in the right places. Okay, literally watching the flank just to see what's up, but they feel very confident that this is going to come this way. If you're not hitting headshots, though, you're not winning rounds. Aim, did he see they were facing towards the A side? Is the question. Ooh, Ooh, three, melted down. four, Woo. just like that. Everybody basically dead. Chiron, he's lost his teammates in an instant. Doesn't even have bomb possession, nor a head. Yeah, yeah. Norbert with a hoot and a hauler because a 9-4 lead looks good. It's like that. Ooh, a Norbert combo deep dive. The red aggressive combo with a howl, howl. the crimson webs, and a Doppler ruby. That's a big spender. A big spender, and he probably spent it at our partner's service for the exchange and sale of skins at CS, CS Money. Money. Them specialist gloves is sexy. Those are nice, yeah. yeah. We've seen a lot of good budget combos at this event, but a nice mix. Yeah, some people ball on a budget. Yeah. You know? Some just ball. All right, so one pistol out of the last three. A super solid buy for VP coming into this. They can see the finish line. And for, for Bet Boom, it's a little bit more foggy. It's a lot more foggy. If they see it, it's basically a mirage. Mm. Whoa. Because that's what we're playing on right now. Pat yourself on the back, why don't you? <laughs> I didn't mean that literally. It's <laughs> <laughs> the first time anyone's actually literally done it. Yeah, you've got long, you've got long arms, man. I'll give you that. Three. You can't. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Ooh, not bad. What? Oh, uh, okay. Mm. They'll try to keep pressing on with the Glocks, Glock. but uh, the Catwalk player's coming through to make sure this one. Stops quick. MP9's chucked out. M4 is saved. VP ever closer to the grand finals. Grand final. But before that, we'd like to remind you the final stage of the ES Mo CS Money's Eco Cosplay Contest has already begun. Go to CS Money, click on the banner, and choose your contest win cosplay. Moreover, you get cash for CS Money market balance after casting your vote. You speak pretty quick for a color commentator. <laughs> yeah. It's usually slow analysis that I break <laughs> the table. <laughs> so I'm going to be careful with my words. I about 100% accuracy. <laughs> Flip, you're dead. Anthony just right back to the top mid play. I think if you start to lose 
your ability to get aggressive, then you've already lost the no. game. MP9 almost for the double. Norbert with some substantial damage. Mirror looking to take up the slack of the B site, which could be hit quick with mid control too. You've got that cat split in position, but do you have the gusto? to take it all the way. Jumping out from the window, it's more damage versus the T's. Counter terrorists a little claustrophobic, stuck on that back pillar and concerned with the flank is James. So he's got a reason to be worried. He's got a chance for the clutch, but James in no rush to close this game. He Not wants to save his off, it, eh? he's gone. And so he 1v2s when he literally has to, but when he has to, he doesn't lose. Sure. I'm, I'm following. There's basically a perimeter around the site if he's within it. And they keep peeking. If it's fine, I'll kill you. Right, yeah. But if he's just, uh, I mean, they're worried about him right now. Yeah. He's Most players get stuck in orbit of I a planted bomb. I can't believe he didn't even just chill, like, nope. on that safe angle. Nope. Inside the market just to see if anyone crossed. Yeah. No. No. Most players get stuck in orbit. James, he's got rocket thrusters, and he's out of there fast. True. Escape velocity. That's good. It's a good one out of Bet Boom. But it really does feel like their strength is at the tip of the spear on these T rounds. Yes. And their entry players are, are really good individually. Yep. But they got to hope that they basically get, you know, an extra kill that another team could get one slow down. They don't feel quite as comfortable doing that, I don't think. Like, this is also a fortunate position for Dan. It's he killed the guy in the back. The guy in the front was aiming at him. They both could have died. Absolutely. So now, we Jane with an op. We got. Flit on an M4, and I don't think Norbert has anything right now. He's got teammates and a 5-7. Um, looks like another A split is starting to take shape. But again, don't lose character, right? Nafany, not the hottest of maps, and still able, uh, last round, to just take the fight straight down mid. Fire with fire. Hmm. Could they shove them into a B play? I don't know. The two A players on A ramp tell you no. Oh, that's a massive find for Flit. Now, the thing is, when you take ladder room, that could mean you're trying to split A. And I think, actually, they do feel like it is going to be that. Ops moving into the A site as well. We've got Fame tucked behind Firebox, but... There's a big one. Big positioning from the ladder player in Zorte. So, again, you don't have to rush down this A site, but if you try to challenge it, Careful you now this. know you're going into the op. Do they... Yeah, they continue to press in. They're going to take their chance versus Jame Deep. James is leaving. Oh Fame can stop this. Fame just drops bomb, and that next player's low. But luckily for him, Danitz is able to clear close. Because that USP with one bullet would have killed Danitz. Push this to the 2v2, and things get even weirder. Is there a gun here for Norbert to grab? I think that's what he's looking for. Was Flit up here? Yep. That he could take that AK from. But he's already just thinking about holding on to it. They keep this op carried forward. I remember back in, like, 2020, it was when Jane was just really got famous sort of because his teams were just now playing against a lot of tier one competition. And uh, everyone Everyone's was just like, pissed when off. you scrim against Jane, it just makes the scrim feel so much longer because you know he has an op every round, even when he's not using it. Like if it's an eco, you know he's gonna save it, but it just makes it so that there's no real anti-ecos to play against him. Sort of just a really big mental advantage to know. The other team never really gets that point where they can just overwhelm you. Because they're always yeah. a little bit scared. Yep. And he really is one of a kind in that regard. I do enjoy that James is a testament to the viable strategies of Counter-Strike. You know? You can yeah. break out of the uh, you can break out of the cookie cutter. Yeah. You can be your own person. Yeah, I like what Devil Walk said about the different regional styles. I always felt the same way. Certain regions have perfected certain elements of Counter-Strike that just everybody has to have, right? Yeah. And Weird. by the end, I think that the best teams just, oh, uh-oh. Yep. Not ideal. Zorte is not going to get an easy trade frag because the CT in B is dedicated to the back site. And here's where you know that Bethlehem get really nervous. They lose yep. the opening kill. They're going to start peeking everything. Oh, and they miss that one risk, the one chance that Norbert just took mm -hmm. by exposing himself to window, and he gets away with it, putting the smoke down and just turning them back. Full mid control, deep angle on top mid as well. Two inside the B site. This is the ideal setup. Going back to A is obviously the best place to go, as we can see. Fame is just spotting right now. 
Uh, but James has the op inside of connector, actually. That's like a really good spot for him to be in, too. Yeah, the late A round smoke is also a big call out. That's where you get the sinking feeling if you're on bet boom. They need to frag their way out of the situation hard. The oh. shot, that could help. That helps. Definitely gives more space over. And Fame just lost his closest support. They got a flash over triple for him, surely. They haven't yet. They're hanging on. Fame, he just gets two backs turned. Oh! Wow. Two players looking the wrong way when it le felt like he was left on his own. Oh. When it felt like he was oh. stranded and screwed, Fame catches two looking the wrong Dude, way. Dude, a spray transfer like that. I was thinking he's playing within smokes at triple in a position where they could 100% win the retake. This is very risky because he gets spammed down in triple if they lose. Yes. But it's all or nothing. He gets a 2K spray transfer you with know the A1S. Wild is those are two players looking at connector when they knew it was smoked. Yeah, they they were, that's true. Are they both concerned about bottom stairs that much so that you don't clear back triple? And they didn't molly it. No. Yeah, and they might, did they know that, maybe they saw James, uh, they saw Fame jump spotting. Maybe, man. You get a bonus of up to $500 for new users when you use promo code DOTCHA at BetBoom. James oh, wasting no time as he goes back into the five versus four. They're on the brink of securing a 12th. Flit just softens up Danitz inside of the fire. So a fast scramble into the A play with no guarantees, but they want deep jungle and they're just getting sectioned off. It's individual fights Jeez. on all fronts and with five players standing, VP send a message, BetBoom on their last life from here on out. Yeah, it's a uh, tournament on the line here for Bet Boom and, and VP just keep getting better and better, man. Better and better. They played uh, amazing CS so far this event. And unsurprisingly, are just been just been incredibly reliable. Despite having some interesting round losses, usually the rounds they lose where you're like, ah, VP, it's when they have to like save early or like take a little bit too much time. It's like never because of massive individual errors, no. That's never the case. They came, that boom came in angry. They came in with a philosophy that they want to try to follow through with. They're so aggressive and credit to Napani. This is a brand new style of team compared to Cloud9. Complete opposite really. True. And yes. he's made it, he made it really work, made it really look good, but um, it's obviously not polished that well. And uh, right now they the inexperience is definitely showing. And it kind of plays into what we've learned that, you know, maybe some of the calling that goes back on Cloud9, the system that he had to operate within was very much influenced by Groove. Yeah. Um, and the other quote unquote leaders of the team, the secondary callers that he felt like had loud voices. So this is very much Naphany's project. His big win is beating Cloud9 at this event, that's yes. for sure. Yes, oh, I think that one meant a lot to yeah. him. Even if you won't admit it. <laughs> And also, we have to remember that this is the same team that made a deep run in Sydney and kind of turns heads for the first time. So, it ain't over yet, but it's a dive into the A site. It's another scramble. It's another shutdown. Just like the previous round, T's can get into the site, but they can't get beyond it. They won't find their plant. And Jame, taking his sweet time, dies to the MAC-10 of Chiron. There is still a little chance that this AWP pieces together the 1v2. But Fame's locking into Firebox. Bomb is down in the depths of all that. Mm. So Fame is sitting on top of the bomb to try and close out the clutch. The bomb's in Palace fully, eh? There's oh, really it? no Fame's in the best oh spot Oh, God, possible. even worse. He's yeah. going to have to climb up. That'll expose him to the jungle player at some point. This is going to take a little bit of a miracle. And miracles don't strike twice. It's a 3K from Fame inside of sight. And it's VP as your first grand finalist. Congratulations, VP. And this is this is deserving it every way around. I mean, every match that we've seen so far from them has just been pure strength and pure class. All the right players playing well. And Norbert, even after he's cooled down, everyone else has taken a turn and heating up. So we know that they can reach an even higher level if they want to. And uh, as for Bet Boom, well, again, taking that win over Cloud9, having a run like this at this event was really, really impressive. And I think they've also brought a very fun style, and it's been cool to watch Nafni go from a team like Cloud9, which were one of the slowest playing teams of the last three years, to this ultra-aggressive roster with some sort of, I don't want to say misfits, but players who have fallen out of their yeah. sort of very promising teams for different reasons and have come together to give it the old college try. You know, it's four players of Bet Boom showing growth in a new project, and it's Dan, it's also, I think, yesterday particularly versus Cloud9, you know, making the most of a new opportunity, right? He's yeah. benefiting from their experience, from their, from their time on other projects, and he gets a chance to run alongside them. So 
an impressive event for Bet Boom. Right? Yeah. That's what we needed to see. We didn't want Sydney to be the one off, and in this case, it is not. Clearly, still some life in this roster, but it is the end of the road for them here in the semifinals. But, you know, we're talking about Virtus Pro as a team that is looking for a trophy lift in 2023. These are last year's major champions. Yeah, and they were, this is kind of a weird thing, but they were outsiders for the, you know, the win at Rio. But they're trying to bring back the, the brand presence of Virtus Pro, yeah. you know, from the when it was the Polish team and then. You know, formerly they were playing under Virtus Pro, but their big wins haven't come recently under that banner. And so I think that's also part of it right now. Yes, sir. We have uh, stats up first with Mirage. We see the top frag Damn, from Flit, Flit okay. Fame, and Norbert. I mean, everybody's contributing here on the VP end of things. Danitz did show a marked improvement from map one to map two. But again, it's just not enough. And shame for Siren. I think really rough series out of him. Um, yeah. Just... And just yeah. tough stuff being that B anchor when VP are coming slamming you every, si every yeah. time. And we could be more critical of Rebet Boom having to play Mirage, but this yeah, head to head now, here. this looks more grim the next time they play because yeah. they got a pick. This map is their map pick, and uh, they, they were not ready to play Mirage against Virtus Pro. No. But, um, and, I mean, want, you can watch as much game tape as you want on Virtus Pro. I guarantee you, like, playing them just feels totally different. Yeah. You think you know something, and then they play a different game. Very few teams able to win versus Virtus Pro in their opening matchup, yeah. their first official versus the squad. Like stats to look at, sure. Yeah, because I, I could totally assume that would be the case. Yeah, but uh, so unfortunately, this is one to the tally. Opening head to head, VP they take it over him. Mm. Um. Okay, well, we'll head this one down to the stage. We got an interview with your victors. Take it away. I guess congratulations are in order for yourself and all of Virtus Pro for making it through to the Bet Boom Dacha Grand Finals. Talk to me, is everybody a little bit relieved after seeing them perform uh, against Cloud9 previously? Yeah, it, uh, they had really great uh, last two matches. Uh, they won the versus very strong opponents. Uh, yeah, today was nice match. Uh, it was under, us, uh, under our control. Uh, we did our things and it worked, uh, so yeah, I'm just happy that we won and uh, looking forward to play first uh, best of five in my life in grand final, so yeah, I'm excited. Well, that, was, that leads in perfectly to my next question. It's going to be the first best of five of the year and of course yours as a whole. Is there going to be any kind of different approach in addressing this best of five? Actually, I don't know how it uh, feels uh, to play best of five. It's uh, some such a long uh, day, uh, but just excited to play it. I'm looking forward to play it. So I think it's going to be interesting uh, experience and uh, it's going to be nice, I think. Have you considered how you're going to be pacing yourself? Because you did mention it's going to be a long day. Is there anything you, you or the team has in place to make sure you don't you know, burn out? Uh, I don't know. I think breakfast is very important and uh, I think we will have some uh, break uh, to eat uh, and coffee, of course. And who do you want to face in the best of five grand finals? Uh, I, I don't care, actually. Uh, any opponent is nice for me. Who do you think will make it to the grand finals? Uh, tough question. Uh, I think Spirit is uh, stronger, but MIBR is uh, in very good uh, shape right now, so I think it's be, it will be interesting to play against them, so we will see today. Well, best of luck to you and the team. I'm looking forward to seeing your grand final debut. It's, it's always interesting to hear things like, I've never played a best of five grand final. Yeah. There's so many players to keep up with and so many teams that you're like, 
oh yeah that's never happened yeah. like and it would be unlikely i guess in general like even the major final being only a best of three where, where fame was able to win he's never had to experience that now it is mr12 which i think makes it's like a nice offset yes exactly like i was really not interested in like the you know best of fives mr16s the, those the games being Super eight hours long. sometimes yeah, I mean, it's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. ridiculous i think outside of like but cologne and Catavi, you know yeah. like the biggest of you know yeah it really does become like how well can you manage your energy for such yes. a long period of time and that can still be the case with mr12 but certainly a lot likely that it's going to be much shorter so yeah. um but longer than a best of three no less and plus more pressure on your map pool which i don't think virtus pro will have any problems with that's the thing so. right there's certain teams where that does start to become in question you know do you get your lesser maps out of the way first you know you're playing five of the seven in the pool mm -hmm. um with vp i agree with you there it's it's there's depth to this team and we know it yeah right it's gonna be difficult for anybody to upset all that um fame no best of five yeah takes me back a second because i think that you know from a casting perspective sometimes we'll do a bo5 and it's like i don't think it gasses us as much I, i'm curious from a player's point of view just how different it really feels you know they are so accustomed to the yeah. formula that is best of three matches that that's 95 percent of your year you sprinkle in this sudden change i wonder if it takes somebody off their game i would also like to know about best of five at a, a, at a land versus best of five at home because like if we cast a something online for example or whatever you can just you have easy access to everything you need all like really really quickly it's like the right yeah. temperature in your room like you're super comfortable true uh, but uh, best of five okay. on land even when we so cast best these are never best fun of for you on land uh, it feels like best me, of five not for you uh, but yes we're here with inner we're going to talk a little bit about the kind of the matchup at hand kind of where you uh, guys yeah, sit yeah, now yeah, this is the, you know, the exit for right boom at the bet boom tournament it's how it is i, I mean so. you can give yesterday that a, we test. gave everything we could and i think today we uh, like test, energy test, a bit uh, like focus and uh, frankly speaking uh, virtus pro were just uh, hold on there we go today okay in oh. Good. There we go. Hear? Can you hear the stream music? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. All, right, okay. Good. YouTube, all right, it's all good. Congratulations. Congrats, Thank Norbert. You. Another one, man. Another win, huh? And just want to say, uh, amazing to see how much that you've got gotten better in all of your roles on the team. Um, as an anchor player in the last year, it feels like you've made so much progress as a player. Do you feel that way? Uh, yeah, but I don't know why, but right now with the new ga game, uh, I feel much comfortable uh, on my roles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and think you said that. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and uh, that's why I feel like I could stay alone on the side and kill two or three people. Yeah, yeah. He was so good, like, towards Monster or all these different anchor spots. Do you have anything that's changed in your role since you came back to the team? Uh, I think, no, nothing changed. Maybe some mentality things changed. Oh, okay. Like personal? Yes. Oh, yeah? Okay. How you think about, how you think about CS or how you think about your job or how do you uh, it's more about uh, my role and uh, how should i uh think before the game and in the game who are, who are the players that you watch to get better at different spots that you like or you think are the best anchors out there who are, who are, who are your top anchors uh of course it's perfecto yeah the best one <laughs> uh and i think that's it i was watching his demos oh okay well, that makes sense what about shush uh no no <laughs> doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't make the cut that's fine yeah, well, i think people are gonna be start watching norbert now yeah you got to, man yeah, maybe you, i mean your improvement is amazing to see i'm curious you know if we take it back to when you did you did get cut from the roster you got put back on the bench and then before you came back were, were you were you told what you like the things you needed to improve on in order to come back and, and re-earn your spot yeah of course clear uh, to you? yeah yeah of course that's not said some things that i should fix yeah and uh, if uh, something will happen like on happened on the rmr they will probably after the major will bring back okay so you knew you had a chance yes to break back in yes That's and so that point of your career must have felt very important for you yes, to really course, improve right nothing else mattered to you at that moment right yes. yeah yeah. It's, it feels very honest, right? With the yes, communication. Of course. That's really nice. I mean, I heard with your kinder that like once he he was like kind of showed a little bit of ego in a scrim and then James told him you need to calm down and then he said, You don't calm down, you're gonna leave the team and then he's like, Alright, I just calm down. <laughs> so is that is that uh, like James being very honest or who is sort of uh, like I think it's whole team. Whole team. Like yeah. we're always saying the truth to each other. That's good. Yeah. Maybe that's why we're winning. Nice. So you haven't either played a best of five um, land grand final if you you play against spirit this is a revenge match for the last land that you guys played um, 
do you think that your map pool works well against them in a best of five? Uh, actually, they should win. Oh, best really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, if they win. If, if they win. They win yeah. uh, I don't know. I don't have experience for uh, best of five matches. Right, yeah. Yeah. They will ban uh, their their map will ban nukes mm -hmm. and uh, the other five we should play so we played it before mm -hmm. like some mirage ancient overpass and other stuff so yeah. it will be probably random because uh, we played too much we w they know how we play we know how they are playing so it will be more uh, about the random listen we talk about you know map pool playing all five maps it means inferno is a likelihood somewhere in this series i think inferno is one of the maps that has actually fallen off in play rate with cs2 I'm curious to kind of get pros thoughts lately about new CS2, whether you dislike it more or less nowadays and kind of what are your thoughts on that seeing as it might come up tomorrow? Uh, I don't know, they just feels like they they did like the new Inferno okay. completely. Yeah. And uh, like for me as an A player, it's uh, kind of hard because right now I don't have one way smoke. Mm, uh, yeah, I have right. HE if they they can blow it yeah, up. Th they yeah, they can blow it up. And uh, for me, it's kind of, as a city player, it's a bit hard. And uh, that's why everyone's playing mini pit now, eh? Like on the. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why everyone's yeah. taking that one angle on mini pit yeah. because they don't want to get blown yes. up. No, no railing on the balcony. Yes. They rush yeah. faster. Yeah, but uh, yeah. with this railing, it's feeling more comfortable because uh, right now, this balcony, you can dodge the flash for the ups. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, right. That works. And of course, as a T, as a T, it's much comfortable. Okay, so a bit more T-sided even than before. Yes, yes, I, uh, I think yes. Okay. All right, good to know, man. Well, listen, I have to say, I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks it's been awesome to see you playing in your current form. You got a best of five ahead of you tomorrow, grand finals, which means Norbert, you could be the tournament MVP. Okay, play your cards right, brother. Best okay. of luck tomorrow. Thank we'll you. We'll see who they play up against, of course. It's MIBR versus Team Spirit to decide our second grand finalists. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Bet Boom Dacha Dubai 2023.
switch. Switch. Thank you. 